Um, it's uh, 13 minutes past eight and you are watching BBC Breakfast. Yeah, it's just over a year uh, since the TV presenter Caroline Flack took her own life. There's a documentary on TV tonight and in it we hear Caroline's family and friends speaking openly and honestly about her for the first time since that awful day. The Channel 4 programme will cover Caroline's struggles with her mental health, the impact which social media and the press had on her life. Let's have a look. Something else we're doing on the programme today is looking ahead potentially to summer holidays and the chances of getting abroad at some stage, maybe with one of those vaccine passports that we've been mentioning. Oh, Nina's here with how that might work, how it might happen. Very good. Some news, some travel and some weather, wherever you're watching breakfast this morning, see you in a few minutes' time. Thank you for watching Breakfast with Dan and Louise. It's that time of day because uh, we, we enjoy this part of the programme. Uh, we're here until 9.15 this morning and then... We Kim enjoy other bits as well, to oh, be yes. clear. Uh, yeah, all the other bits, but this is a particular favourite. Because Kim and Gethin are here to toast. Ooh. Strictly gossip, right yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, folks. See you Good soon. Enough. You're still banned by your family, aren't you? Forever. Still, I'm still on a banning <laughs> order, yeah. Uh, 8.36. Uh, you probably noticed an increase in rush hour traffic in recent weeks. Our roads are going to get busier as well as the lockdown continues to ease. Uh, in London, however, one in 20 people now live in what's called a low-traffic neighbourhood where bollards and fines are supposed to keep cars out, in theory, at least. These schemes have been extremely controversial in the capital. Now there may be one coming to a street near you. Our chief environment correspondent, Justin Rowdock, can tell us a little bit more. He's in West London. They really have proved, um, you know, put people on different sides this, hasn't it? Morning. Yeah, they're in uh, feisty arguments taking place, not, not only on those roads that Justin was on, but also on social media this morning on that precise topic. Oh, should we talk to Sally for a bit of... Um, now, if you're watching Breakfast yesterday, uh, well, it's nice, isn't it? You might have seen the discussion um, about an incredibly difficult year the theatre and live industry has been going through. Um, it's not just actors who are suffering, of course, also those who tend to get less limelight. All the technicians, stagehands, costume designers and musicians. Now some stars of the stage and screen are backing a campaign to get more help for their backstage colleagues. Uh, that's just some of those involved. We're joined now by the musician Midjour, who is... So give us Morning, an guys. idea, uh, first of all, uh, how has the last year been for you and also, you know, those who work around you in the industry? We're lucky to have them as well. No. Um, you, they mentioned lots of those people um, in that video about feeling like a family. Government support package, I think it was £1.57 billion. That was announced back in July of 2020. Uh, it, was, it was widely praised at the time. Has that made much of a difference? Has that had an impact? I'm sure it's had an impact in certain... I just want to uh, sort of look ahead and, you know, there is, you know, we know we, there are dates, for example, indoor performances will resume on or, on or around, we understand, May the 17th. Um, you know, is there a sense that we, you know, there is optimism? ...shelves, just behind your right shoulder there, top shelf. Is that is slightly out of focus? Is that like a, an owl or some sort of skeleton? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you very much, to work, Midge. <laughs> A good reminder, that. <laughs> you take care. Thank you. Um, it's coming up to 10 to 8. Carol's having a look at the weather this morning, which looks lovely there, Carol. Morning. It does get clear. Um, 70 years since Dennis the Menace first appeared in the Beano, and he's still causing as much mischief, mischief as he ever did. Uh, a special edition of the comic actually goes on sale today. Before we hear about that, uh, let's see Dennis as he appeared in his CBBC TV show. We've got a ten-year-old in our house, Louise, who loves the Beano. He literally runs to the front door. Oh, when it comes I used to, the to love Beano, the Beano. Um, let's speak now to the editor of the Beano, Mike Sterling, and also to the YouTuber and Strictly star, Joe. I not. Uh, thank you very much for that, guys. <laughs> you are watching Breakfast. It's 8.59. Here on Breakfast, it's time for a last look at the news headlines for you. And the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, has insisted the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is safe and urged all UK citizens to get the jab as soon as it's offered. In a few mi minutes, we'll be speaking to some members of a brass band from a school who managed to recruit a promising new singer, you might have heard of him, Gary Barlow. Imagine that. <laughs> uh, first, though, here's a brief look at the headlines wherever you are. So, not many school bands would have the nerve to ask one of the UK's biggest stars to collaborate on a project. But we know, don't we? If you don't ask, yep, don't you get. don't get. Nope. Uh, so, the Fred Longworth High School Band from Greater Manchester decided to set their sights quite high. Have a look.
Tell you what, that's, that's quite a get, that, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that brilliant? Impressive. Let's speak now to Helen Robinson. Who um, also, today on the programme, we've really been enjoying your pictures of your dogs enjoying lockdown. We were talking about, you know, perhaps they're, if they're going to be worried when you go back <laughs> right, as that, well. Yes. Does that make you feel better? Yes, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> uh, that's enough from us, I think. Um, see you uh, tomorrow. Yeah, breakfast <laughs> is back tomorrow from 6. And right now on BBC One, it's time for Morning Live with Kim and Geffen.